remember as years go passing by you and I will have these songs to remember hi everybody welcome to the show we have a fine show for you some beautiful talent and this is my lovely co-host Tilly may I have a kiss now you yes. tell her. Uh, tell yes, her. we have um, a fine guest with us today. Her name is Sharon Klein. She's a comic, and she's also a good uh, song, song stylist. Right. Yes. And don't forget, we have Tim, Tim Sean, who uh, wobbles a pretty good tune himself. How about huh? you wobbling one now for us? Okay, okay, Jerry, from the top. <laughs> Surprised me, yeah, really? <laughs> in a way. Surprised me too. You didn't have too much. <laughs> I know. That's that. why I mean that. <laughs> why don't we bring out our next guest? What do you say? Huh? Sure. Okay. Uh, here's. Let's, let's bring out Cheryl, Cheryl Klein. Klein. Welcome out. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do a song. Hello, hello, testing. I'm gonna do a song. Um, Dedicated to one of my relationships with a guy named Juan Julio Rolando Garcia de Galicia Tacos Lipschitz. Maybe you've seen him in the neighborhood. Anyway, it's a wonderful song. I based our relationship on the Channel 5 Action News. And uh, here's how it goes. <laughs> night and day thing it was something to have and to hold but it seems that your love it grew cold I court mm, I never knew that our romance had ended until you poisoned When you kicked me in the park But now I think it was rude I never knew that you and I were finished Until that bottle hit my head Though I tried to be aloof When you pushed me off the roof It's dead. Now it wouldn't have been so bad if you'd have just told me that someone was taking my place. Oh, but no, you didn't even scold me. You just tried to disfigure my face. No, how this 
this heart of mine It's breaking It seems so hopeless But then I know that we could patch it Baby, if you just put down the hatchet And say that we're sweethearts again I'll never forget that night in Fort Lee Remember? That was the night you gave me the, the hot foot. Then you kind of took me on the lake canoe and you had a kind of strange look in your eye and then you lunged towards me. Kind of scared me, but then you smiled and everything was all right again. That's when you set my dress on fire. I mean, you said you threw me overboard to put out the flame, but I never could understand why you held my head underwater that long. No, I, uh, I never met this person who's taken my place, but but I want you to know that I do. I, I wish you all the luck in the world. I do, and if there's anything I can do for you, anything, except this, no, please stop it. No, I'll do it on my own free will. Leave me, I'll do it alone, leave me. I have done it before, don't walk away, I'm finishing. I'm not pressuring you, I just wanna tell you, if there's anything I can do for you, I want you to know where you can reach me. I'll be in room 1703 at New York Hospital. Okay, my love, don't go away. Okay, farewell, my sweet, you'll never know. Now this heart of mine is breaking, oh yeah, mm, it seems so hopeless, but then, oh, life used to be so, como se dice, placid, oh my baby, please, please, put down the acid, put it down honey, leave me alone, please, and say that we're sweet Beautiful, Thank Cheryl. You. Thank Come you. on Thank over. You. I want. We want to ask you some questions oh, over here. Hey. You're a pretty busy gal too. You know, I've been wanting you on this show for a long time, but <laughs> you're, you're so busy. You yeah. Know. I'm trying to get the IRT, you know, yeah. to uh, to go with my schedule here. You know, it's a little difficult. The IRT. Oh yes. yes. <laughs> Seem to miss each other a lot. You know what I mean? Listen, tell me, what are you doing now? Um. Let's see. Well. I was on Saturday Night Live. Yes, I heard about I that, that, which I saw you. Yeah, so the back of my head, which was like my first What was that, all thing. that stuff you had on you? Well, let me tell you something. You know, my worst dream in life, my, my, well, one of my goals, why I take Tai Chi, philosophy, and everything, is to try in every way not to look, be, or sound like my mother, Mrs. Klein. <laughs> You know, with S. Klein's closed down, I thought I had a chance not to be like her because the bargains were out, you know, in the street now <laughs> on 23rd in Madison, you know. But anyway, they dressed me in this brown polyester pantsuit and they made me 800 pounds, size 22 and a half. <laughs> and it was unbelievable. I played a sketch where it was a fat farm. Now, God bless me, you know, my Weight Watchers never helped that much. I was on a fat farm and I had to be the head writer who wrote this terrible sketch about fat people. So that was it, but it was very, you know, just being an NBC, and well, I have, you know, four cents in my pocket, they say, here's your dressing room, here's your Perrier, you know. Yeah, well, the fact that you were on Saturday Night Live, that's, yeah. that's beautiful, that makes a beautiful resume, that's, you know. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that's all I have on my resume, you know. What did I hear about this with the firemen, huh? Oh, I'm what did I hear about the firemen? <laughs> <laughs> Me and 200 guys with hoses, right? I'm <laughs> she's an animal. Anyway, uh, she's a woman and she'll never be any good because, because well, anyway, it was great. I'm doing a thing at Katona, New Jersey, right? 200 standing firemen in a firehouse, no women allowed except me. I have to wear a slit in my skirt, and there's, they play pool and listen to the jukebox at the same time. And I'm, well, you're I have performing. To do, I have to do comedy there. Yeah, they I said, you'll, you're booked with a band. I can imagine, it's probably a marching I've band. i all through that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, these <laughs> bookings, I tell you, you know. Well, why don't you do another number? Really? Okay. Sure. okay. <laughs> Cheryl Klein, everybody. Thank you. Hi, I know you're applauding out there in TV land. I know you're out there. Just remember 
until your dream appears, then you belong to me. I'll be so Beautiful. You really did. No, you encourage me, my love. You encourage me. And uh, Thank you're you. gonna come back and maybe do I'd love do a you. comic okay. next time, okay? Okay. This way? We'll go either way, it don't matter. <laughs> Why don't we bring out our next guest, all right? Oh what? he did a number that I I'm facing the my back. Excuse my back. Mm -hmm. I'm always doing this, he tells me. I'd like him to do uh, Misty. Do you think he'll do that for me? Well, uh, if he's got it on his uh, repertoire, I guess it's all right. I heard him the other oh, let's night. Bring him, let's bring him out, and we'll find out about that. Tim Strong, everybody. Uh, t uh, Tim Sean, everybody. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Sorry Frank. about that. <laughs> Maybe I get my name right one of these days.
Tim Shaw. Did I get it right? Yeah, Come on yes. over. Let's sit over here, Tim. How you been doing? All right? Oh, pretty good. Yeah, I, I heard you sing that uh, one night at uh, one of the night spots. And uh, you did even a better job tonight. Oh, you know, thank you. He's, uh, I heard him do Misty, and I heard him do San Francisco. Yeah. And they, he does a very good job. What do you, what do you got planned for yourself? Well, I uh, just recently moved into uh, New York from uh, New Jersey. And uh, I'm just more or less starting out. I've gone to uh, HB Studios and stuff uh, in New York for acting since I was younger, about 14, 15. Uh, they sent me uh, from New Jersey, the people there, whatever, my school. They just said, you, you know, so you're are good, you, so they said. Are you doing any singing any place? Uh, well, I have a, a show come up Sunday in uh, Spring Valley with uh, Jerry and, I don't know, Hal, are you going to be there? And Hal, uh, uh -huh. this it's Sunday, the Baders, Baders, right. Yes, uh -huh. Yeah, I've never been beautiful there before. Place, beautiful. Yeah, that's oh, what Frank's I Frank's been there a couple of yes, times, haven't mm -hmm. you? You've done benefits yeah, down there. there I didn't know you did benefits. Oh yeah, I was at the Salvation Army down there. The guys, you know. Uh, that's uh, very last good. Week. Yeah, You'd be they're, surprised they're a nice bunch of guys, you know. And you make uh, people happy that way, you know. Well, they're that's struggling amazing. a lot of them. You know, they're trying to get off of the the alcohol there, and I think it's uh, honorable right. that they're trying right. to get their lives together, you know. Mm -hmm. So I just went down there and tried to help them out a little bit. Why don't you do another mm -hmm. song for us? Okay. Here he is again. Tim Sean. The loneliness of Paris seems somehow sadly gay. My city by the bay. I left my heart in San Francisco. You know, I'd like to thank everybody for your letters. I've been getting some beautiful letters. And uh, I got one special letter that really touched me. Uh, it's when we did the tribute to Eddie White, and I'd like to thank the, the Touch of Venus for that. Did uh, you bring the letter with you? Yes, but it's out in the other room. I can't I guess we'll have to read it to you next time. <laughs> but uh, keep those letters coming, because we, we love them. And uh, we're going to start the mailbag pretty soon, too, because I'm getting a little behind on that. And there's uh, several requests that we have to to do something. Yeah, do you know I read a letter the other day? They're telling me, how come I never sing? If I started to sing, honey, Please. you'd have to turn your TV set off. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> okay, okay you I'll go ahead and do one another one. Okay, okay, Jerry. Come here. Each time I see a crowd of people I stop and stare. It's really 
really not the proper thing to do. But maybe you'll be there. I go out walking after midnight. To look for you, but maybe you'll be there. You say your eyes would always go. You said your lips were my home to tell. Now, after all. in a long time. Right, now, that's, that's an, old, an old one. That really is an oldie. Why don't we bring out our first guest, Cheryl Klein, to do another number? Oh, this time I want her to do a comedy. I just want those people out there to see her. Okay, okay? Cheryl Klein, everybody. Cheryl Klein. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, 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 hi. Guess what? Anyway, I just came to New York recently. Maybe you can tell by my accent. I'm not... A Excuse me, I'm not originally from New York. I came here like a lot of you people looking out there, a lot of you cesareans. To make it big in show business, I gave myself three weeks. I have two hours left. Two hours? No, an hour and four minutes. Anyway, no, I'm going to make it fine. If I don't make it here, honey, I'll go back to visit my mother in Miami because I got a letter from my father, a telegram yesterday. Come to Miami. I said, Daddy, I'm not coming to Miami. She drives me nuts. He said, Cheryl, your mother went through a change of life. She's going to start living hers instead of mine. <laughs> Now listen, my mother, well, maybe you know her, she's the queen of denial, the uh, love goddess of King's Highway, God bless this lady, but she identifies with major characters of the Bible, like last Thursday she had a Moses complex. You know how Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt? My mother had a similar experience, she led our family circle out of an a &S white sale. I said, Ma, I have no room for the sheet. She said, wear them. I said, I look like the Ku Klux Klein. Mm. She said, wear the sheet, you son of a, I'll break your head. Daddy, leave me alone. Tell her to leave me alone. Cheryl, don't call your mother she. This is a, <laughs> the story of my life. I go to Miami. She's happy. She's living in a condominium. Maybe you've heard of it. Yenta Towers. <laughs> Yenta Towers. I'm so embarrassed to tell my friends where I'm going. She's sitting on, I go there in the living room. You know, she says, have a little schnapps. I said, Ma, what are you schnapsing me? She, you, I, she said, sit down and join in the activity. I said, what's the activity? Sitting down and watching Gidget Coast Kosha on a purple velveteen couch, you know. Gidget Coast Kosha. <laughs> Unbelievable. She has a pool in the shape of a mouth. <laughs> the lifeguard can't swim. They pay him to listen. <coughs> My daughter, the Meshuggah, she moved out of the house. She thinks she calls? So she calls twice a day. Big deal. That's where that. Unbelievable. My mother used to sing me a lullaby. It went something like this. Go to sleep, my flesh and blood. Go to sleep, my chubby child. I'll stay up for a while to work my fingers to the bone, to give you and your son of a, your, your fat and great brother Larry a nice home. <laughs> Go to sleep, pleasant dreams, wake up after your teens, when you can pay back your mom and dad for the tourists they had. Three minutes? Okay, baby, here's my big song, my final number. Should I do one number or forget it? Okay, I'm gonna do, girls, pay attention, sit up. Girls, put something on, don't watch me when you're naked. Listen to me. Well, I'm going to do a song. This was written in 1907. Tell me if it's not true today, okay? I am blue and I'm oh so forlorn. My macho man, he treats me so mean. Since he's gone, I'm oh so all alone. I'm eating hot and dos and waiting by the telephone because a good man is 
so hard to find You always pick up oh, the other kind Just when you think that he is your pal You look around, you see he's fooling with some other gal And then you rave, oh yes you do You crave to see him lying in his grave Yes, so if you man Take my advice and hug him in the morning. Kiss him every night. Or oh, give that babe your love. And I said, treat him right. Because a good man nowadays is a Tell me if it's not true. To find. Oh, what beautiful guests we got today, huh? Well, I guess that's uh, about it for this time. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the show, and we gotta have you, Tim. Uh, we gotta have you back, Tim. Okay? Sometime okay. we'll have you back in there. Sure. So we have to have her come back too. You better have me come back. Tilly wants to hear that Misty, you know. So yeah. until next time, God bless you and love everybody. And don't forget, say a prayer for somebody tonight. Our uh, song.